The VAT account default section identifies any transactions that have a different tax coding from their account's default tax coding. And this could indicate any potential errors. So when you navigate to this section, you'll be able to see any of the issues that it has noted. So we can see that there's potential issues or anomalies in both input and output VAT, and it gives us the number of issues and the total value. So in this case, I'm probably gonna start focusing on the input VAT because that number is much bigger. And to do that I'm going to just click on explore, click on the card, and it'll show me all the accounts that have potential issues within them. I can then go click on any of these cards and I'll be able to see the transaction that SIFT has identified as a potential issue. So for example, in this case, we have a payable invoice with Dawn Bellwether, which normally has a standard rate purchases tax code, but we can see that no VAT has been applied on this transaction. And that's why SIFT has said, well, this is potentially an issue. Now, depending on your region and the VAT or GST rules within your region, this could be an error or something that's understandable. Perhaps this is imported goods. And so we don't have any VAT or GST on it. There's rather custom duties, but that would depend on your region and your understanding of the entity. But at least it has identified this anomalous transaction so we can consider if it's correct we can always go click dismiss and then sift will note that this issue has been resolved and it's going to go and change the overall value of the potential issues there we can always go and undismiss this or reactivate it and once you've dismissed it if you click on the i it will say who's dismissed it and on what day so there's a, an audit trail of any dismissals and that's useful if you're a manager and you want to go and investigate what your team has considered and dismissed and you can always go and inquire as to why they thought it was appropriate. We can go and investigate all the different counts that SIFT has noted. Here we have another example where lights, power and heating's default tax code is the standard rate, but a zero rate has been applied. And then when you come to cake inventory, we see that the old 14% rate had been applied. Now that is probably not applicable going forward because it's old. And finally, on Tinkerbell Cake, we've got an accommodation rate for cake. So it's very obvious that Zivt has identified a whole lot of potential issues. Some might be correct, like the chocolate inventory, but others we would probably need to go and investigate and correct them to make sure we get to that correct VAT or GST rate. You can go do the same with output VAT. And again, you can click on it and go and investigate what the issue is at a transaction level.